vibration magnetometer. Description It contains a wooden box with glass windows on the sides and a slit on the top through which the oscillations can be observed. A stirrup in which a magnet can be placed is suspended by a fine torsionless fiber from the torsion head T. A plane mirror with a fine line PQ parallel to the length is fixed on the base helps to count the number of vibrations made by the magnet without parallax error as in figure. Principle A freely suspended magnet in a uniform magnetic field aligns in the direction of the field. When it is displaced through a small angle theta in a horizontal plane and released, it experiences a restoring couple. This keeps the magnet in simple harmonic motion. Application of Vibration Magnetometer The vibration magnetometer can be used A. To compare the horizontal components of Earth's magnetic field at different places and B. To determine the magnetic moment of a magnet and the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field at a given place when used along with deflection magnetometer. To compare the horizontal components of Earth's magnetic field at two places. Procedure The box is rotated so that the line AB lies in the magnetic meridian with the help of a magnetic compass. A brass bar is placed in the stirrup and the torsion head is rotated so that the bar comes to rest in the magnetic meridian. Now the brass bar is removed and a bar magnet is kept in it. The magnet aligns in the magnetic meridian without any torsion in the suspension wire. This magnet of moment M is made to deflect in a horizontal plane through a small angle with the help of an external magnet and set to vibrate. The time taken for 10 oscillations is determined. It is repeated for three times and the average time T is taken. The time period T1 is calculated. Let BE1 be in horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field. The time period is T1 is equal to 2 pi square root of I by MBE1. Now the apparatus is shifted to the other place and the time period T2 is determined. If BE2 is the horizontal component of the Earth's magnetic field at this place, T2 is equal to 2 pi square root of I by MBE2. Therefore, T2 by T1 is equal to square root of I by MBE2 into square root of MBE1 by I. T2 by T1 is equal to BE1 by BE2 or BE1 by BE2 is equal to T2 square by T1 square. Thus, they are compared. Determination of magnetic moment of the magnet M and horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field BE. For the determination of M and BE, the vibration magnetometer and deflection magnetometers are used. The value MBE is equal to alpha is determined by using vibration magnetometer and the value of M by BE is equal to beta is determined by deflection magnetometer. The product alpha beta is equal to MBE. M by BE is equal to M square. Therefore, 
m is equal to square root of alpha beta equation 1 and alpha by beta is equal to m b by m by b is equal to b square b square is equal to alpha by beta therefore b is equal to square root of alpha by beta equation 2 from the equations 1 and 2 m and b are calculated 